Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Now, before I start this next video, I want to thank all of my new subscribers and also my old subscribers. And I just want to let you know how much I appreciate the likes, the encouragement that you give us. I know that some of them may be boring, but we're just trying to get people's names out there that may have been forgotten and their ancestors can find them. So, God bless you all. Thank you so much. Now, let's move on to this little cemetery coming up. It's called the Hall Cemetery. And for this to be such a small cemetery, it has so much history. It's one, some of the first settlers that, that are here. Uh, there's not many graves, but... So just keep in mind, just because you may see a little cemetery on the side of the road somewhere, um, you would be surprised what you might find in that cemetery. So if you see one that's close to me or driving distance from Knoxville, uh, let me know. And uh, now let's do the walkthrough. Hey guys, we're at the Hall Cemetery in Knoxville. Um, it's going to be a little loud because I'm on the main road. I'm right behind Hall's Theater. You can see through them trees. We're up from the dumpsters, which is that way. But I've always seen this little cemetery right here. And I wasn't really prepared to come, but I had to drop my granddaughter off at gymnastics. So I'm going to see who we got here. Elizabeth, wife of W.M. C. Hall, born 1820 and died in 1875. That's an old one. There's a rock marker. Sorry it's so loud. I'll try to talk a little bit louder. I think he did that on purpose. There's another one. Somebody's marked it. And then here's another rock marker. And here we got a soldier. And it is Corporal Thomas G. Hall, Company C, 8th Tennessee Cavalry. See, we're right beside a building. Uh, let's see if I can see anything else. Here's some more marker stones. This is sad, and they're tiny. They're little, like child size. And I guess that may be a, maybe marking off the cemetery. I don't see anything else around there. It's going to be a very short video, but I just really wanted to, I've always wanted to get here. So what I'm seeing, and I'll let you go around, but what I'm seeing here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there's another one in this tree here. So that's ten. And it's just a little small family cemetery and, you know, it's probably the family the Halls is named after. Um, I can't get over there, but as soon as Greg gets over here, can, hey, can you come over here and get in this tree? I like him to do the dirty work. But yeah, there's a, let's see what it says. If I can get in here to, to look at it here. Oh, great. And it's in a, there ain't no way you can get in this tree. I'm trying to get around here where I can see. Can you read that? It's a holly tree, of course. And you'll just get stuck. Okay. I'm trying to get in there. another one so I would say I don't know it's a part of one so 
I'll take a picture of that and then put it up on the video. Uh, we can't no way can get through that. Okay, so this cemetery, um, there is Elizabeth J. Elkins Hall. She was born in July the 12th of 1825, passed away November the 26th of 1913, and she was the wife of William C. Hall. There's no markers for her. Also, there's no marker for Rejoiner D. Hill Hall, and um, she's the wife of Thomas C. Hall, and there's no dates or anything so no markers for her either and then we have that we missed the markers lee roberts he was born may 13th um i think 1873 possibly and passed away in 1879 um there's a picture of his stone uh we kind of we we missed it so the last one we have is Hester Ann Renfro Hall. She was born in 1795, died October the 27th of 1871. And here's a picture of her headstone. She was the wife of Private Edmund Hall, the guy that is buried under the holly tree. And she's next to him in this little cemetery. And we didn't see it because there is some, you know, leaves and stuff on the ground. And I think this one was laying on the ground. So, couldn't get in the holly tree either. So, um, the picture that we're using is from Find a Grave. We did not do anything to bring the writing out on this uh, particular stone. So, don't jump on us. So, it's not our fault. But I just wanted you all to see this. And I want to thank you again. And uh, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.